The Adventures of Mark E. Ting. Marketing Guru. Episode 1. The Mystery of Not Providing. This is Mark. He's a marketing guru with mad skills in many disciplines. I rock. Or so he thinks. Today, Mark is hammering out the latest blogs, blasting out tweets, and crushing it with Facebook posts for his company page when he remembers that he needed to get some analytics information to his boss, Bo S. Man. Please give that report to me Thursday. So Mark logs into his Google Analytics to see where the traffic is coming from and prove his awesomeness. Mark, I know what you're thinking. Why is 87% of the search terms not provided? Are my analytics broken? Am I up its creek on this one? No, Mark, they're not broken. This is Google's gift to its users. See, Google's philosophy is do no evil. And in the past few years, some people think they're doing evil because they disagree with Google's privacy practices. In one of their valiant efforts to combat the privacy concerns, Google launched a new secure searching method in October 2011. Let's step back for a second. Mark, how do you think your Google reports are able to give you so much detail in the first place? I have no idea. Well, Mark, it's not magic. It's actually pretty simple. It's called the HTTP referrer info. We all know the HTTP part since we type it into our browsers before the www in any web address. The HTTP referrer is just some nerd's term for pushing information about the visitor in a way that the analytics tool can make sense of and you, my boy, can see what's what. You with me so far, Mark? I'm not an idiot, strange narrator guy. Good. So let's get back to how Google screwed up your reports. In a nutshell, if you are logged into Google service like Gmail, YouTube, Drive, G+, or any other Google property, and then do a Google search, Google.com becomes secure, or as we say, HTTPS. And that's where the problems come in. When that person goes from Google to a non-secure website like yours, the HTTP referrer data is not sent along with the visitor for your analytics to interpret. Hence not provided. And with the astonishing number of people using Google products, this not provided is growing by leaps and bounds. Well, that pretty much sucks. Yes, Mark, it does suck. But hey, you know what? You can still make smart decisions regardless of the lack of keyword data in Google Analytics. Want to know a quick shortcut to help supplement? Of course I do. Well, Mark, if you're the marketing guru, you can always log into your Google Webmaster Tools and look at Search Queries Report that will tell you some of the terms, including impressions, click-throughs, and where your site ranks for those terms. It'll get you through. Also, some third parties are already developing really great data analytics to help augment that information. In the end, Mark, you can still be a guru, but you just need to work a little smarter to get it right. Good luck, buddy. See you next time.